Hey everyone, it's TJ with Avidyne again. In the following brief video, we're going to be discussing the IFD interface with the GTX 330ES. As always, nothing in the following video um, should be construed as approved data. It's for reference use only. For FA approved data, please refer to the IFD installation manual. Make sure you've got the latest revision. Okay, so to jump right in, um, we're going to supply qualified ADS-B GPS data to the GTX 330ES via RS-232. We're going to set that up for ADS-B plus G, and that's going to be at a 9600 baud rate. Um, and then we've got an, a pair of Airing 429s coming back to the IFD from the GTX 330. Um, there are a couple of options here depending on what we want this installation to, to do and how we want it to behave. So, um, Assuming we want to use the TIS traffic information coming from the GTX 330 to display on the IFD as its traffic source, we would set this for GTX 330 with traffic. Um, the other option there is just straight GTX 330, and that assumes we've got some other traffic source on, on board. Okay. And assuming we are going to use the TIS traffic from the GTX 330, you'll also want to wire up this discrete output uh, from the IFD. This is your TIS connect select line. Um, again, if we're not using the GTX 330 uh, with traffic, if we're not using that TIS traffic, you can ignore this line. Um, this interface, this pairing, uh, the IFD to the GTX 330 for ADS-B out, um, this is covered under RSTC, so it meets the, the qualifications for 91.227 for ADS-B out compliance. Uh, something else to consider uh, for ADS-B out compliance, you, you may need to put in a squat switch or squat switch source the GTX 330. The IFD can supply this via our pseudo weight on wheels output from the P1001 connector in 8. If you're going to use the pseudo weight on wheels out of the IFD, we're going to set squat switch to yes on the transponder and we're going to set the sense to low um, and that'll be a low one on ground. That's the pseudo weight on wheels out of the IFD transitions at about 35 knots GPS ground speed, but we'll put a, a discrete low when it's below 35 knots. So um, that should pretty much do it for this video. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please contact tech support at avidine.com. And uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching.